We live in a world that often defines masculinity within a rigid box. This box, constructed by societal expectations, limits men's emotional range to a narrow spectrum. Anger, acceptable, sadness, weakness. This limited emotional palette harms men and those around them. It's time to dismantle these restrictive norms. Men are taught to suppress emotions deemed feminine from a young age. This suppression creates a disconnect between their internal world and their outward persona. This emotional dissonance can lead to feelings of isolation and frustration. It hinders their ability to form genuine connections and live fulfilling lives. Breaking free from this man box requires challenging these long-held beliefs. We must create space for men to explore and express their full emotional range without judgment or shame. It's about recognizing that true strength lies in embracing vulnerability and authenticity. Traditional masculinity often paints men as emotionally dependent on women. This harmful stereotype suggests that men rely solely on women for emotional support and validation. Such a view not only undermines men's emotional capacity but also places undue burden on women. This notion of dependence implies that men are incapable of processing their emotions independently. It perpetuates a power imbalance in relationships, positioning women as emotional caregivers rather than equal partners. This dynamic can lead to resentment and hinder healthy communication within relationships. Men like women are perfectly capable of developing emotional intelligence and seeking support from various sources. This includes friends, family, therapists, and support groups. By encouraging men to build diverse support networks, we empower them to take ownership of their emotional well-being. The suppression of emotions comes at a steep price. Studies have shown a strong correlation between emotional repression and a higher risk of mental health issues in men. Depression, anxiety and substance abuse are often linked to the inability to process and express emotions healthily. When men are conditioned to bottle up their feelings, it can manifest in destructive ways. Anger, for instance, may become the only acceptable outlet for unexpressed pain, sadness or fear. This can lead to aggression, violence and self-destructive behaviours. It's crucial to acknowledge that seeking help for mental health is a sign of strength, not weakness. By breaking the stigma surrounding mental health, we create an environment where men feel comfortable seeking the support they need to lead healthier, more fulfilling lives. Redefining masculinity begins with challenging the restrictive norms that have dictated men's emotional expression for far too long. We need a new narrative, one that celebrates vulnerability, empathy, and emotional intelligence as integral aspects of true strength. This redefinition involves shifting our focus from what it means to be a man to what it means to be a good human. It's about embracing qualities like compassion, empathy, and emotional openness, traits that benefit everyone, regardless of gender. This shift requires a collective effort. Parents, educators, mentors, and media figures all play a crucial role in shaping the next generation's understanding of masculinity. By promoting positive role models and challenging harmful stereotypes, we can create a more equitable and emotionally healthy society for all. Section 5. Fostering Emotional Literacy from Boyhood Emotional literacy should be as fundamental to a child's upbringing as learning the alphabet. From a young age, boys should be encouraged to identify and express their emotions openly and without shame. This involves creating a safe and supportive environment where vulnerability is valued. Parents and educators can foster emotional intelligence by engaging boys in conversations about their feelings. Encourage them to use feeling words to articulate their emotions and validate their experiences. Let them know that it's okay to feel a full spectrum of emotions and teach them healthy ways to cope with challenging feelings. Through storytelling, play, and open dialogue, we can teach boys to understand and manage their emotions effectively. This foundation in emotional literacy will serve them throughout their lives, enabling them to navigate relationships, challenges, and triumphs with greater resilience and empathy. Section 6, The Power of Vulnerability, Encouraging Male Friendships. Men often struggle to form deep, emotionally intimate friendships due to societal pressures to maintain a facade of stoicism. Encouraging vulnerability and emotional sharing within male friendships can be incredibly liberating and empowering. Creating safe spaces for men to be emotionally open with each other is crucial. 
This might involve initiating conversations about mental health, sharing personal struggles, or simply asking a friend, how are you really doing without the fear of judgment? When men allow themselves to be vulnerable with each other, it fosters a profound sense of connection and belonging. It breaks down the walls of isolation and creates a support system where men can navigate life's challenges together, knowing they are not alone. Section seven, challenging stigma, creating safe spaces. The stigma surrounding men's emotional expression is deeply ingrained in our culture. To dismantle this stigma, we must create safe spaces where men feel comfortable expressing vulnerability without fear of judgment or ridicule. Support groups, workshops, and online forums dedicated to men's emotional health can provide invaluable outlets. These spaces offer a sense of community and understanding allowing men to share their experiences, learn coping mechanisms, and challenge societal norms together. It's equally important to challenge dismissive or derogatory language that perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Phrases like man up or boys don't cry minimize men's emotional experiences and reinforce the idea that vulnerability is a weakness. Media plays a powerful role in shaping our perceptions of gender roles and expectations. It's time for media to portray a more diverse and nuanced representation of masculinity. One that embraces emotional intelligence and vulnerability. We need to see more male characters in movies, television shows, and books who are comfortable expressing a full range of emotions. Showcasing men who are empathetic partners, compassionate fathers, and supportive friends can help normalize healthy emotional expression. By challenging traditional stereotypes and presenting positive role models, media can contribute to a cultural shift that embraces a healthier and more fulfilling definition of masculinity. Allowing oneself to experience and express emotions authentically is not a sign of weakness, but a pathway to a happier, healthier life. When men feel free to be emotionally open, it unlocks a world of possibilities. Emotionally expressive men tend to have stronger relationships built on trust, intimacy, and mutual understanding. They are better equipped to communicate their needs, resolve conflicts constructively, and build deeper connections with their partners, children, and friends. Moreover, emotional expression is intrinsically linked to self-awareness and personal growth. By acknowledging and understanding their emotions, men can gain valuable insights into their values, motivations, and aspirations, leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Creating a world where men feel empowered to embrace their full emotional selves is a collective responsibility. It requires a conscious effort from individuals, communities, and society as a whole to challenge outdated norms and promote a more inclusive definition of masculinity. Engage in conversations with the men and boys in your life about the importance of emotional expression. Challenge harmful stereotypes when you encounter them. Support organizations and initiatives that promote men's emotional health and well-being. Every action, no matter how small, contributes to creating a ripple effect of change. By working together, we can dismantle the harmful constraints of traditional masculinity and empower men to live authentically and fully. Imagine a world where boys are raised with the understanding that their emotions are not weaknesses to be hidden, but valuable aspects of their humanity. Imagine men feeling free to express their full emotional range without fear of judgment or ridicule. This is the future we must strive to create. A future where emotional intelligence is not seen as a feminine trait, but as an essential human quality that benefits everyone. A future where men can be both strong and sensitive, assertive and compassionate, successful and vulnerable. This journey towards an emotionally intelligent future requires ongoing dialogue, education and empathy. It demands a willingness to challenge our own biases and embrace a more nuanced and inclusive understanding of masculinity. Let us move forward with courage and compassion creating a world where all individuals feel empowered to embrace their authentic selves and live lives filled with purpose, connection, and emotional well-being.